A boxer's fracture is a colloquial term used for a fracture of any one of the metacarpal bones. It's a very common injury and is usually caused by a clenched fist hitting a hard immovable object such as a skull or a wall. It can even happen whilst hitting a bag with or without gloves when using improper punching technique such as hitting at an angle resulting in a bend in the bone ultimately causing the fracture. The most common location of these fractures are the fourth and fifth. Whilst punching with proper form the knuckles or the metacarpal bones align in a straight line with the radius. This way the force is able to spread more freely across the bones and joints minimising the risk of the fracture from happening. Boxers and other combat athletes routinely use hand wraps and boxing gloves to help stabilise the hand, thereby reducing pain and the risk of the injury. Proper punching form is the most important factor in preventing this injury. In addition, decreasing the loss of bone density that occurs naturally with age is also critical. This can be done with regular exercise and calcium supplements or adequate intake of dairy products. If you are injured, it's important that ice is applied to relieve pain and swelling. Any open wounds are cleansed to avoid infection. The injured hand must remain immobilised to avoid damage to nearby structures such as muscles, blood vessels, tendons, ligaments and nerves. Conservative treatment includes a soft cast or splint to immobilise the affected part of the hand to allow healing. If the broken parts of the bone are greatly misaligned or unable to be realigned by manual manipulation, then surgery to put metal pins or plates may be required. Prognosis of these fractures is generally good. Some muscle atrophy may be expected initially, but with some rehab and physio, the majority of cases make a full recovery within three months. Okay guys, so that's boxer's fracture in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Your comments are greatly appreciated. 